Good morning, kiddo kids, and welcome to your Thursday, January 18th, and today is National Gourmet Coffee Day, because I know you're all big coffee drinkers out there, or at least I actually hope you're not, uh, but coffee is a really popular beverage. I mean, look at that beautiful bean juice, and if you think about it, it's kind of weird. We're, we're roasting beans, grinding them up, and then pouring uh, water, hot water, into them to make kind of this bean stew. Uh, and that soup that we end up making is just an extremely big part of the economy of the world, actually. Crazy enough, uh, it's a $40 billion industry just here in the United States alone. And the really crazy thing about that that I found out just through looking at statistics is we're not even the biggest coffee drinkers. The majority is uh, consumed by Europe. And what blew my mind completely is that Asia has become the larger uh, consumer of coffee than the United States, North America. And that's just really, really wild. Um, so I just got to point out that that's kind of a, a crazy thing where we're not really the big coffee drinkers anymore. And what makes gourmet coffee, I mean, it's the coffee beans are special, but also the way that you brew the coffee is extremely important. There's pour-over coffee where you pour your hot water over uh, the ground coffee beans and uh, through a filter and let it drip through. And that's probably the most popular way to brew your coffee. It's what most coffee makers use. Uh, there's percolator coffee where you heat the coffee or the hot water, excuse me, from below and it percolates up through a tube and on, uh, you know, out like a fountain across the coffee grounds that way and then through a filter down below again. Uh, there's also, oh, <coughs> excuse me, the um, French press which is kind of like you just make a bucket of ground coffee soup, and then you press a filter down over the top of that and push the grounds to the bottom. Uh, there's also one of my personal favorites, a new version called siphon coffee make, uh, making, where you heat a, uh, I think it's called, I'm not positive, a titration uh, little glass vial on the bottom, and you push uh, a, or you create a siphoning effect through uh, the coffee grounds from below. And each one of these apparently has a different kind of flavor adds to the coffee. I don't really know. I haven't tried every single one of these, but it's just really cool. And we know something about coffee as we actually run a little coffee shop, you know, Java Junction Jr. So cool little piece. Anyways, knowing all of that coffee information and getting you perked right up, let's find the flag in the room and... Please rise for the flag salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Alright, you crazy kind of kids, let's talk a little about food for the day. On our menu, we have a turkey sandwich or a penne pasta with meatballs, breadstick, tossed salad, dressing, cucumber slices, pears, and milk. What's going on with that weather outside? It's going to be another cold one. High of 27 degrees, warmer forecast than it was uh, yesterday. And across the board, it's going to warm up a little bit more than we expected, but there's also going to be a bit more snowfall. We're looking at some potential lake effects cruising across the Kendall area. So we might get a couple inches here and there over the next couple days, but it's a very, very variable uh, weather pattern that we're dealing with. So there's not really good guarantees of how much we are going to be getting. So we're going to keep an eye on it. I'll keep you updated uh, tomorrow as I get a little more information. We might be up to, up to three inches uh, across the later part of the day and evening uh, tonight. So I just wanted to point that out to you guys. Um, next week, though, the big warm-up, we're going to look at a uh, kind of a wintry mix coming in on next Wednesday as the weather warms right up on Monday. Um, and yeah, so it's kind of a little bit of cold, a little bit of warm. We'll see what goes on, but the weather is just, you know, too hard to call completely right now. Anyways, let's do that part of the announcement. It's called the Kendall Canines. And I do want to point out that we got some felines to start the way. We've got one cat, no, two cats. Oh, wait a minute. No, we've got a dog. So we've got a canine in the mix. But wait a minute. We also have a bunny and a bird and a chicken and more chickens and a turkey. Uh, because Emma Pagano wanted to share with us her incredibly large portion of uh, animals at her home. So I'm going to have to say plus, you know, 100,000 points because look at the, the sheer number of animals right here. Uh, so way to go, Emma. And if you guys want to bring in some more pet uh, images, I do want to stress uh, that just make sure you've got those images picked out in advance. Uh, it makes the whole process a lot faster. Anyways, let's do the mission statement. The mission of the Kendall Central School District to provide the knowledge, skills, values, and attitudes needed by students to live responsibly and complete successfully in today's and tomorrow's world. Well, I hope you guys have a terrific Thursday. And if I don't get you to see it, remember to 
stay colorful, Kendall.